For every one of my 17 NFL seasons, I've been lucky enough to call Lambeau Field, the NFL's best stadium, my home. What makes Lambeau Field special? It's in the bricks. History never leaves because it stays in the bricks forever. These bricks have been crossed by countless Packer greats. But I'm gonna tell you about one of my all-time favorites. You've probably never heard of him. What's up, brother? Great, how are you, brother? Good, good to see, see you, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. His name is James Campen, offensive line coach for the Houston Texans. Yeah, what's up, big boy? This preseason, he came to Green Bay, and though his main goal was to beat me and the Packers, he was the most popular person in Lambeau. Hey, Red Tully! Hey, <laughs> Good to see you, brother. Hello. Oh, my God, can you hug me? Oh, sure. Oh, how are you doing? I'm good. Frank! How are you, buddy? Great to see you. It's been three years since we were on the same team, but Coach Campy still means the world to me, and he always will. We can all the time take that. We can talk about all the good old days. All the time I pissed you. Yeah? Yeah. He did do that. There you go. Hey, Thank you. You got to sell it to me, I got to put this on IG. What's that? Instagram, man. God, I miss the out of you. God, I want to punch you so bad. I miss you, buddy. I do. Am I just the biggest baby? Huh? You got a big arm. Ah. This is, this is what it's all about. For yeah. Getting back for the relationship. It's the only reason. Yeah? Then I walked by the tunnel and I said, you know what? And I don't, I don't want to be disrespectful anyway because Texans, you know what I mean? But I, I just, I would love to be able to go walk in the bricks and just walk in that tunnel and walk out and say, you know the bricks? Why not? Campy wanted to cross the bricks again because despite being fully dedicated to the Texans now, he's part of Packers no. history. I've had enough of him. For right, almost yeah. three decades, Campy's been a hell of a coach, but he's a lot more than that. How are you, buddy? It's so good to see you. He played center for the Saints, then the Packers. Long before I met Campy, another Packers quarterback already raised hell with him. I know he's a coach now, and that's how most people remember him. But as he was a typical lineman. No couth. Didn't hold his tongue. Obnoxious. Smart. Crafty. Obnoxious. You all right, man? Yeah. Sure, sure. It ain't sober, is it? No, that's all right. Need you a little Let's go, baby. Let's go. Any other stories about Campy the world needs to know? None that I could tell. I mean, there's stuff that he did. I mean, he, I mean, did he tell you about the, the peeing on the sideline? Did he tell you about the ice tubs? And Did he tell you about the time when he uh, thought it was so funny to, you know, with the snow plow and... Did he tell you about that party at his house, too? Oh, he didn't. He had probably 20 leeches on his body already. Well, we took a snowplow and had a cat key, and we, we buried his frickin' truck. I said, hey, Brett, he's in the porta potty He goes, let's do it. And so we rocked, kept rocking the porta potty till it fell over and the purple stuff went. I mean, it just, it was, that was horrible. I mean, you know, it, yeah, but that was his idea. So I'm going on record with that. Slapping guys on the ass. Just a random guy, you walk by him, just knock the living piss out of him on his ass. And it stings like So you imagine a big guy hitting you. I did it or he did? Well, who, who? Let's go. Oh, no, it's him. There's no question. The, the, the wax, bull crap, that's him. And it hurt like hell. He got me at the Hall of Fame when he got inducted. <laughs> but, uh, right, right, right. Hey, look, he's still smacking people on the ass. There's the butt slap. There's the butt he's, slap. He's no, still. No <laughs> he had such big hands. I mean, he'd leave a print on you for a day and a half. Campy was used to Favre's hands on his ass. In fact, he was the center for the Gunslinger's first ever action in Green Bay. And here's second year quarterback Brent Favre out of Southern Mississippi. They are hopeful he can succeed in the NFL. I get in the huddle in, in Green Bay and I say, all right, guys, we're going we're, we're gonna to take this ball down and score. A young, energetic young kid. And I think it was James. Shut the up. Call the play. Let's go. And I was like, 
Okay. This is going to be a little bit different than I thought. I'd be lying to say Campy was no nonsense, but he was tough as nails. Like the time he had a piece of his collarbone sawed off. Before surgery, you kept saying six weeks, six weeks. It's going to be four to six weeks. I said, no, I'm making opening day. I said, so I wonder what you're going to, how big is this bone going to be? It was about this big, like that. And he, so he said, I want you to drill a hole in it. And I said, I want you to put it on a piece of rope or a shoestring. He goes, what for? I said, I'm wearing it because I'm going to make opening day. Oh, this no. is Dr. McKenzie. He's got to saw the bone off. Here's my man. And I made opening day. And so on opening day, I cut the shoestring and we went out for pregame and I just threw it out there at Lambeau Field. And so it got ground up in the dirt somewhere there, I guess. I threw the bone out there about the 20 yard line. He played when two sports stars were in style and Campy dreamed of being a pro wrestler. One of their offensive linemen runs downfield and punches into the pile, James Campy. It looked like the WWF at the two yard line. Now, if we watch this, here comes big James Camp in the center. You think you got him stopped right here, right? No, watch Camp at 63, he comes in, boom! He just knocks the thing into the end zone. <laughs> You're talking about Camp, but you know who his favorite athlete is? The Undertaker. That's his favorite athlete, The Undertaker. Now, it's going to scare me if I know who The Undertaker is. Well, he's in the WWF. That's what I thought. <laughs> Campy and I have always talked about beating each other's asses, so we have this uh, bet now. When he's 70 and I'm 50, we have a, uh, a wrestling match. Winner gets paid uh, charity of our choice. It's a jelly, like they're gonna lube up, they're gonna fight, I can't wait. I'm going to pin him in less than a minute, and so and he knows it. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be able to last more than 10 or 15 seconds, so I'll just kind of run circles around him for a little bit, and then do a little judo trip and pin him and then ball game. When his playing career ended, thankfully he didn't go into wrestling and instead became a coach. Let me know if you say anything out there. In 2004, he became an assistant in Green Bay, where his old quarterback was, well, still the quarterback. Is he good with that? Yeah. It's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool. You know, I, I could say things to James and get away with it where other guys couldn't. Hey. Good job. Way to overcome your coaching. I had to take the more mature role, I guess, even though he was 90 years old, you know, at the end there. But he was one of those that, like, if you were in a bad mood, he was going to bring you out of it. You know, I love you. All right, babe? Oh, yeah. All right. But he's got that, that, li that likability, but also can chew your ass. Campy has been like a big brother to me since I got in the league. When I was 21 and a, and a rookie, for whatever reason, he took me under his wing. He was there for me. The moments when I was a young player with not a lot of friends on the squad, not understanding what was going on, caught behind you know, a legendary quarterback, not playing. You know, he was my confidant. We started going to dinner on the road every single week. We had a kind of a standing date. And then growing our friendship together over the years, He's a really special, special person. Let's go. Hey, I wasn't going to bug you today. I tell you what, you're my favorite player I've ever played with. And you know what? I'm, I'm emotional right now. You guys, go kick their ass, all right? Let's go. Have fun today, all right? Have fun. James has the biggest heart that I know. He's such a special human. He cares about people so much. Every road game, he takes $1,000 on the Miracle Mile that he does and walks the streets and gives out money to homeless people. He's done this for years and years and years. That's the kind of guy he is. And that's why it doesn't matter who he's talking about, he can't help but getting teared up from time to time. You know, great friends with Ted. <laughs> it's funny when you do this, you think of people. <laughs> you know, Ted Thompson and Jack Bessicon, who's a guy down there, he's a wonderful guy, was at my, my uh, granny's, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> with Coach Jerry Sullivan, and really the reason why, one of the main reasons why I'm sitting here. I love the guy. I'm sorry. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Exactly. 
James Campen spent 15 years coaching in Green Bay. In the Packers' storied history, no assistant coach has spent more consecutive years with the team. What is a coach? I mean, a coach can be, you know, I, I think it's, it's above and beyond X's and O's. I think it's above and beyond getting the best out of your player. I think you need to get the best out of the player for his life. As a coach, I could give a flying <laughs> Sorry. I, it's okay. Getting ready for camp here. I can give a flying crap if you're drafted in the first round or you're a free agent that just walked on two days before camp. I mean, I, I was a fourth rounder, um, day three guy, not really on anyone's radar. I mean, most people were talking about me playing guard or even center in the NFL. I wouldn't be where I am today, not only on the field, but off field if it weren't for Coach Campy. He realizes after a couple of days or a couple, however long he's been with you, what you excel at, and he tries to maximize that. There you go, Justin, there you go, there you go. I mean, Justin McCray's played tackle, he's played guard, he's even played center. That development and that utility is not only a testament to Justin McCray, but it's also a testament to James Campen. Justin. Just taking it step by step. It was more like center next. Center. My dad trying to teach me how to play offensive line. He's stepping normal. Soft. Teaching versatility proved vital in 2010. We suffered numerous injuries and the offensive line was shuffled around. We wouldn't have had the success that we had without that approach. He was outstanding at it, the developing of the younger players and you know the extra time that he would put into these players both personally and professionally but uh, it, it was endless keep doing it get it right son that's a great job but we still made it to the super bowl guys we can control what we can control you gotta rally the rest of this offense yeah baby you gotta rally these because we're gonna win this damn thing because we're gonna be the leaders of this thing with Campy pulling the strings up front, we brought a Lombardi Trophy home to Titletown. The Green Bay Packers have earned their fourth Super Bowl championship. After being entrenched in Green Bay for so long, he moved on to coach in multiple places. Congratulations, brothers. You are Florida. Thank I'd you. love to fly through your ass. Proud of you, bro. Yes, sir. Blow it up, blow it up, there you go! At every stop, Campy's been fiercely dedicated, and that's certainly the case in Houston. Nice job, good finish, good finish. Effort wins every time. This year, Coach Campy returned to Lambeau Field for the first time since leaving the Packers. Lambeau Field, it's just a very special, special place. It's in the bricks. It's gonna be different. I get to go back there. I'd be lying if it wasn't, you know, yeah, be tough. I love it. I love the people. That organization was tremendous to me. 20 years. You know what I did? I walked out here and I went to the left, and then the Texas security guy, I don't even know him. Hey, coach, you got to go this way. Hey, I was walking right over here. Oh, yeah? The uh, wrestling match, you got 12 and a half years to prepare. You can tell that I've obviously been working. Hey, did you do your miracle mile last night? I did. I sure did. I did. I just, I would love to be able to go walk in the bricks and just walk in that tunnel and walk out and just hit, you know, the bricks. Why not? This is no walk out in the other. Yeah, but I don't want like this. Just come with me. Who are you offending? You gave your life to this place. You worked forever for this place. Yeah. Well, see, that's kind of like... You played for this place. He's scared to walk in the tunnel. That'd be disrespectful, don't you think, to the Texans if I did that? I wouldn't think so. No, no. Should I run here and do it? Hey, bud, how you doing? See you. James Campen gave his blood, sweat, and even part of his collarbone to the bricks of Lambeau Field. But his real legacy is in the many relationships he poured himself into. And I'm forever grateful he did that for me. You're the best. Just get five more years and get a gold jacket, please. <laughs> Put a try. Yeah, no, you'll do it. I mean, I mean, we're trying to all hang out, man. Come here. Yeah. Gosh. Thanks, man. <laughs> you guys are really nice. Thanks, Thanks for so doing sweaty. that. Too. I know. Well, I just got him a hot tub. Yep. All right. There you go. All right. I get to go one more time. That's it. That's all I want to do. Thanks. Sure. Give me this. Oh, yeah. I love you, buddy. All right, buddy. You're the best. Love you.